Next thing to do here, as regards to scars, it is very important to subscribe to this channel. It's very important. Today, we are going to be looking at a very important topic again, which is how to integrate exponential portions. How to integrate exponential portions. Please ensure you subscribe and don't skip any part of this video. Don't skip any part of this video because it will be of a great help to you. This integration calculus, and we are here to guide you guys. So please subscribe to this channel and turn on our notification bell and ensure you don't skip any part of the video. Watch the end and get the full uh, gist. So let's go to the uh, end. Okay. The definition is if you integrate exponential x relative to x, that has to remain as exponential x, but plus integration constant. That is the definition. So whatever I write integrating for exponential x, what are you going to have? That's the view of 4 integral exponential x to dx, because 4 is the constant number you can factor it out. So the next thing we're going to be having 4 integrating exponential x, that is exponential x, then plus c. We have the most 4 exponential x plus c. We stop, we stick in the same thing. Why? Because the integrating exponential x, it remains the same. What about this number 2? Will this still be the same thing? Don't know. But what have is this? What have is 10 x? They're not the same. So it cannot be the same thing. So how do you do this? Since the power is different from just ordinary x, the first thing you do is to say this is integrating exponential x with respect to x. That's what we are doing. So the first thing we're going to do will be let u be equal to the power of 10 x. It says that. The question will not be integral u dx. Integral u dx. So, but can you integrate with respect to s? No, you cannot. And can you say again, exponential u is not a constant? Never. Because u is a function of x. So, this is a form of function of another function. So, what do we do here now? We are going to bring the u to this place. We will bring the u to this place. How? We are going to get it from this place. How do you do that? Okay, differentiating this u with respect to s, we are going to be having 10. We are going to be having 10. Differentiate this that u with respect to we are going to be having 10. Then make the x the subject of the formula. Then we will be having the u is equal to the s and just from the plot. 1 times the u, that is the u. The s times 10, that is 10 dx. The next, divide both sides by 10. Let's put that right here. This one comes with this. Therefore, our dx will be equal to du over 10. So actually, dx means du over 10. So, and I see dx put u over 10. We have an integral. Special u, du over 10. That will be equal to. Okay, bring this 10 out. We are going to have 1 over 10. Integral exponential u, du. And if you integrate exponential u relative to u, just as we said, if you integrate exponential x relative to this, the answer will be exponential x plus c. If you integrate exponential u with respect to u, the answer will still be exponential u plus c. That will be 1 by 10 exponential u plus c. So that will be exponential u over 10 plus c. What is u? u is the same thing as what? 10x. So that's exponential 10x all over 10. Simple as that. First thing, let the power be equal to u, then you may change the u to get your dx. Make dx the formula because we now have exponential u with respect to x. Then you are going to substitute the, the equivalent value or the actual value you get to from this place that corresponds to dx into this dx place. You know that dx goes to d over 10 from this place. The next, integrate exponential u with respect to u, you are going to have exponential u plus c. The next, Bring back the value of u, which is 10x, and uh, that will be your final answer. Although, there is another uh, good way to shorten this solving. How do you do that? There is a model. It's a model. I can give you a model that says that you have exponential of a function of x, the s. We can say the answer will be exponential of that function all over the f prime of that function 
you'll see and say oh, that is possible. How? Let's try this model with this question and see what we have. We have x pressure, this all. We have x pressure, 10x dx. I said, if you have a function of the function of x dx, the answer will be the function of the function all over the f prime of that function. The f prime of that function. So, what is not f prime? It means we should differentiate the function. That's what it means. f prime of x means differentiate, this, differentiate that function of x. So, let's go. Now we're going to have the exponential of the function all over the rigidity 10 is going to have 10 plus c. See? This and this are the same thing. So we can apply this to for this now. We will be having exponential 11 plus 21x over the rigidity this 11 plus 21 is rigidity 11 that is 0. The rigidity 21 is, that is 21 plus c. 11 plus 10, 21 plus 10, 0. That is also 21. So we will find out that, that. Now let's apply the same rule for this. That will be equal to exponential x plus 1 over the rating x. Now we have 21 now 0. Now we will be equal to exponential x plus 1 now 0. So this is a short uh, shortcut to the exponential portion and this is the long method of the exponential portion. So please. Sure, you study this and put your question in our comment section and uh, make sure you subscribe. It's very important. God bless you.